Hey there, good morning everyone. Thursday the 10th of November 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Romans chapter 6 verses 6 and 7 which read, For we know that our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we might no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. The other day I spoke about the freedom that we are able to experience when we choose Jesus as our Lord and Savior, that of having a clear conscience and of having direct access to God. It doesn't stop there. And here's another one that we also may overlook from time to time. And that is the freedom is the power to do what is right. Most people think that freedom means no rules, no limits, no regulations. But that is a very limited view of freedom. Instead, freedom is the power God graciously gives you to say yes to the things that are good for you and no to the things that are harmful. If we don't have the power to say no, there's a word for that. It's called addiction. And with it come obsessions and compulsions in your life. Scripture teaches us in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 19, For you are a slave to whatever controls you. I once read a story about a brother and sister who were encouraged by their parents to find their bliss. Their home had no boundaries, and they were allowed to experiment with anything, including sex and drugs. By the time they were in their mid-twenties, their lives were out of control. The brother soon realized my freedom was no freedom at all. On the outside, I appeared to be enjoying life, but inside I was enslaved to my own fears, insecurities and compulsions. I needed someone to free me from myself. And that's exactly what we all need, someone to free us from ourselves. Have you ever wondered or even thought, why do I get cross and angry at the people I love the most? Why am I anxious and fearful all the time? And how do I stop this? These are things that perhaps maybe you have tried to change by yourself, and you find that you didn't have the power to do that. That kind of power comes only from God. Paul reminds us in Romans chapter 7, verses 24 and 25, Oh, what a miserable person I am! Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin and death? Thank God, the answer is in Jesus Christ, our Lord. My dear friends, freedom is simply not having no limits. Radical freedom is a freedom to say yes to the things that improve your life, increase your happiness, and fill your life with significance. Radical freedom is the power to do what is right. There is always a benefit to following God, and it's not always super, uh, prosperity. My dear friends, may the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.